Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and I'm back in uh, Let's Make a Game, where I am trying to recreate some awesomeness out of Lumber Tycoon 2. Um, let's go ahead and get straight into the studio. I'll show you what I did at lunch today. Okay, first off, um, if you're watching this video, you're here for one of three reasons. Randomly got picked because you were watching some Roblox videos and or some scripting videos and you came here. Two, you're looking for something about C-frames and something about like adding C-frames, whatever. That, that's here too, okay? So you're, you're in the right place. Three, you're one of my subscribers and you come here every single day to hear the amazing and awesome stories that I have to share with the world. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you're not a new subscriber, then hit that subscribe. But no, if you're not, a, that means you're an old subscriber. If you're not, if you're not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button, the like button, all those comment buttons. Is there a comment button? I guess there is. A, there, it's like a reply button, but I mean, it's your own comment. Um, I will show you what I've done and kind of explain what's going on so far. So, sorry, Tom. I, I got to get out of here. This music is just... I understand, sir. Try living with it. <laughs> okay, so... Right here's what an average tree looks like. It splits like two to three times here at the bottom. Sometimes, actually, I don't know that there's any of these that split only once. And if it does, I bet the probability is like really low. Hold on, let's jump in my car. I'm gonna take a quick run around lumber. It's almost every single time one of these is, uh, yeah. Oh, that one just died. Oh my goodness. That gives us a great view. So there's three, 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 and two. So it's a probability of two to three, I would say. Two, two, two. Three, 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 two. So on this one, it's three. And then up here, we have a three, three, two. But it's always in like three sections. I mean, there's never one that has four sections to it, right? So, what I did, just for fun, here, look at, right here, look at that glorious beard. <clears throat> okay, so here, inside my game, I've got these six little posts that I was playing with today, and I'm actually, I'm going to change these. Um, let's make these all sizes, Two, comma, ten, comma, two. Uh, that's probably not going to look right. Hold on. F5. <clears throat> I'll show you what it looks like. Yeah, those are too big. Boink. And <laughs> we've got the leaves in the wrong area. Hold on. Stop. <laughs> so I don't, I don't like that at all. That was way too big. Uh, let's go. Hold on. Hold shift. There we go. Let's get these down to uh, 1.5, comma, 10, comma, 1.5. That should be a little bit better. Okay. And then also I saw that I've got a problem on my C-frames because I'm looking at the wrong spot. Oh, to do there. There we go. Now we'll run it and we'll take a look at this gloriousness of awesome. I will run you through the scripts and show you what they're doing, how I got these angles and stuff like that. So, a uh, little bit of an explanation. Stop. Right here, okay, the first part of my script, first part of my script destroys anything that I've got stored up in these three lists, okay? These are not the list of ultimate, like these, these are not the end all be all list. This is just an example of the C-frames and the way that I stored them versus the way that we'll actually store them later on down the road. This is going to be in combination of the growth script that I created uh, in the last video, which is also going to be in combination with the positions um, generator in the video before that. So oh, it's going to be like three different models to create one tree and it's all gonna come together with variables that you can toss at it and stuff like that. Anyhow, 
Okay, so the first part of this is each one of these parts, each one of my parts, I have gathered up in a thing called Our Parts. It goes to Workspace, C frame test, get children. This folder right here is in the workspace, C frame, and it's got all of my parts in there. The uh, script itself is contained on the outside of that because I don't want to get it as part of the thing. Anyhow, you would probably store this on server side scripts or you, would st you wouldn't put it in replicated storage. You don't want the client having access to this. Anyhow, that is uh, the basic setup. Each one of these is going to be used in the loops down here. So. Um, the first part right here uh, for I comma O in pairs are parts all of these parts inside the C frames I did a math dot random 15 degrees on the X axis hold on X axis so it tilts like this 15 degrees and then on the Y axis like this I did negative 180 to 180 That'll give us a full circle turn, okay? And then the Z axis, I didn't touch at all, um, which I probably could, but outside the scope of what I'm showing you right now. So for each one of those parts, we do a random orientation, uh, vector three, new, and we use the three variables that we just created up here, pass that in, boom, we have our new rotation. So if I were to do nothing else in the rest of the scripts, we would have parts that would be doing this weird jumpy turny thingy right so the next part to this is I want to do a math dot random and I'm actually going to set this up to a two to three all right so we could have anywhere from two to three loops for X equals oh that's bad programming because I used X right there didn't I Oh my goodness, that's really bad programming because I used another X down here as my random, oh gosh. Uh, let's call this for counter, not coroutine, counter, because I don't think I have any. There we go, that's much more efficient because I bet I was messing it up right there. Oh gosh. Okay, so counter equals two comma math.random two to three and do it by steps of one. Um, part one equals instance.new. We create a new part. We say that that part is anchored. Our size is equal to the original size of the first part, the one that we're looping through up here, uh, times 0.80. So we want it to only be 80% of the original size. And we could randomize that. I'm not going to do randoms right now. So it's just 80% of the original size. And we're not calculating growth or anything like that. All of this is probably going to be already there because of the growth script. The growth script is where this is going to go. So we technically don't have to create a new part. We're just looking to see if the parts there make it grow. The part dot parent equals workspace. I'm going to change that to O. So it actually it puts the part into the piece that is currently being looked at. Uh, the material equals concrete. Mm, no, I'm, I'm gonna replicate the O dot material. So it's gonna be the same material as our um, original part. The brick color is gonna be the same brick color as our original part. The bottom surface, top surface, all of this is just to get us that smooth no outline so it, it's not it doesn't look like lego blocks and it doesn't have the glue and it doesn't have all the other surface inputs okay that's what all the rest of that stuff is so the uh, next part that i do is the top of the branch is o dot c frame plus o dot c frame of vector times the y uh size so what do i mean um ms paint glorious ms paint so i've got a part here right so the first thing we wanted to do is we, oh gosh, that's, we are, give me a paintbrush. <clears throat> Can I do a little bit bigger paintbrush, please? Size, size, yeah, that'll work. So we have a um, part and right in the center is where the center of the C-frame is. Now when I say uh, C-frame dot up, it actually gives me the up axis gosh come on there we go oh whatever the up axis of this thing and then I take that times 
half of the size of this. So here's the, the full size right here. I only want half the size. So we're adding half the size to the up vector, which should give us a point right, oh, dang it, right up here in the center. Now that's great, but if we created a new part and didn't give it any kind of angles or anything else, it would be right there as well. And the center of its axis, or the center of its C-frame, is going to be in the same spot as this. We don't want that. We want to take this and give it a new angle. Let's use green, why not? Don't get these, con oops. Don't get these confused with the actual uh, things. Do -do -do -do. There we go. So we want to give it a new axis from that point. And that's still all great and glorious, but then we have our next problem which is if we place a part here, we are now gonna have a part that looks like this. That's not what we want, we want a branch. So we, we're gonna have to take that and push it up the X axis, or the, sorry, the Z axis to um, the bottom of its location. So it's going to be the up axis of our current C it's going to be the up vector of the current angled um, C-frame plus or times uh, by this part's height divided by two. So only halfway. So that's that's the next part. And the end result should be something like this. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, gosh. I missed the old school paint program. The one from like 1995. Anyhow, and this is going to be a little bit closer. Anyhow, that's that's the idea of how to get this angle or this uh, this mathematic. So right here, top of the branch is the first thing that we want. We take the current C frame of the object and we add the C frame up vector times the size, uh, its size of Y divided by two. So this right here should get us right in the center point at the very top. Um, we then come in here and we do another X, Y, Z. These are going to be our random coordinates. And we're going to say new angle equals C frame dot new top of branch dot position vector three dot new. So this gives us the top of the branch, the same point, the X, Y, Z coordinate, but with an angle of our randomly generated 15 and 180 degrees. So it's a different rotation, a uh, different angle. The, we then take this new angle and we say our new location is going to be the new angle plus the new angle's up vector times our part one that we created, its size, y divided by two. So only half of it. So the new part, C frame, is the add new location. Okay, that I... That was kind of confusing even for me. And while I was sitting here programming this today, it was very hard to keep up with. I had lots of multiple fails and it just, I, it's still not 100% correct because all of the angles I've noticed are not this direction. They're all like this, this direction and 45 degrees. So if you see something wrong in my code, it's, I probably missed it. I'm still working on it. It will be there eventually, but that's how uh, that's how I did each one. So after we loop through those parts, that only gives us the first branch. What I do down here at the bottom is I do table insert my parts, the part that we just created. This way I can keep a nice little container of all the parts that we're creating so I can destroy them to, to recreate them later on. Now, you don't need to do this part. You, you will need to do this with the sections or the branches of the trees later on. Um, because we have to go back through and say if this part is chopped, all of its children need to be taken off as well. Plus, we have to drop the leaves. So, um, that is the first set of branches. For each one of the parts that we have in our thing, create a branch, either two or three branches, off of that with this math.random. Um, 
Now I probably should take this and do 360 times our, our max amount. No, not 360. Yeah, I guess it would be 360. And then we could do 360 degrees because we a full circle is from zero to 360. Divide that by how many parts we've got. So if we got three, each one of those would be 90, like 100 and something degrees. 45 plus 45 equals 90. 90 plus 40. Okay, Google. What is 360 divided by three? The answer is 120. 120 degrees. So each one of them would be 120 degrees. We could take that minus the, anyhow. <clears throat> Let's go. Let's go. So right here. Um, da, 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 da. We do the next loop. And this time we're going to loop through all the parts under my parts, which is the, the table that we just populated full of parts. And we do the exact same thing. We create a new part sizes times 75 times 80 percent uh its material is on the workspace concrete is o dot um material material and we don't want the parent like that we want the parent to be o so um let's hit stop i just realized it's still running Whew. i don't want it crashing again save to roblox Okay, so if I go and look at these while the thing's running, I should see its children populating. Workspace, C-frame test. Yes, part, 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 part. Part, 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 part. <laughs> That's awesome. And we can increase these angles and do, uh, here, so let's hit stop. And we will do um, this. Max angle equals 15. Uh, max rot equals 180. So down through here where it says um, we're going to do max angle. Uh, we're going to do negative max angle comma, max angle, and negative max rot, comma, max rot. So the maximum rotation, the maximum angle. So anywhere that I've got those randoms, do, 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 do. okay, we have it again right here that and it, did I see an X in there I did counter we don't want to and that one too counter and these are actually the leaves um, the leaves at the very ends and you can see right here I just did top of branch where instead of just doing the original part size I also had the part that we just created size and that way it puts it right there at the very end of the uh, thing so that should should run and place in our variables possibly yay okay so let's hit stop so um let's see <clears throat> counter is going to equal one two three one comma max branches Let's just say max branch, no, no, max branches, like that. One, two, max branches. Uh, same thing here, max branches. And we could say minimum branches, min branches, like that. Minimum branches, come back down here minimum branches and feel free it like I don't know how clear the code is inside the video it should be nice and nice and good good stuff so this one's going to be oops 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 I had the insert key minimum branches equals random minimum branches times max branches 
I don't know if branches has got an ES on the end. It might. Who knows? So, min branches equals two. Max branches, branches equals 10. Oh, that's gonna get crazy. Um, we're also gonna do maximum angle equals 30 degrees, but with only a 10 degree rotation. I hope that works. <sighs> hope I didn't break anything. Probably broke something. Ooh. Ooh. Very nice. Now, <laughs> you can definitely tell that there's something off with the angles. <laughs> oh, gosh. What kind of tree is that code? Seriously. <laughs> Who knows? All right, stop. I saw that as a, the first rotation. Uh, minimum, maximum. Where's that minimum, maximum again? Min, max. Okay. So let's change the uh, max angle to 180. Max rot to 90. Just for fun. And we're still going to have that 10. Ow. My foot. Ooh, what in, what in the world? <laughs> broccoli. It looks like glorious broccoli. <laughs> All the trunks of the trees are like breaking out of the floor. That's awesome. Oh, what happened there? That one got all crazy. <laughs> Alright, and we could actually, we could do this per section, per piece, get all the children of those pieces and add them in, do all kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, anyhow, the main part was these C-frames. I really wanted to drive home like how these frames were working and how I did the, the multiplication. So I could have just, and no, I couldn't have just done that. We have to go to the, the top of the y-axis. We have to set a new angle of that y-axis. And then we have to go to however big that new part is. So if we're growing branches and we just stick two out there at their current sizes, as they grow, we're gonna have to take that up vector times half of the original size divided by two because it's growing in both directions. <sighs> yeah, yeah, there's a, there's a lot to it. Anyhow, by the way, this is very inefficient because I'm using a server-side script and it's actually, it's. It's only running one time. Uh oh, what happened? I've been idle for 20 minutes. Oh, no, I lost a pink car. Well, at least the music was appropriate for losing the car. Oh, well. Uh, win amp. Here. Let's play some of that awesome music in the background. There we go. Some nice, gentle music. Uh, somebody was asking the information about these the other day. Uh, jump to file. No, that's that's fine. Um, hold on, I think it's under my music. Hold on. Uh, do, 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 do. Music. Uh, Akasha Gandhi, Calm Ambient Music. Oh, sorry, Calm Ambient Piano. So I looked up that inside the YouTube music, and that's what I got. And there's a bunch of them, a bunch of these. So if you were looking for that kind of music, feel free. Go look on YouTube Creator Studio, and you can find it. Um, let's do maximum angle of 10. Maximum rot of 180 again. Um, go. And by the way, this is just one of the trees. So think about how the... And that rotation doesn't seem right. It still seems off somehow. Hmm. 
So let's go back through here. Copy. I'm just going to do this for fun. Anywhere where we had that XYZ and I put a zero, I'm going to put the min max on there as well. Go. So it's a pretty simple script. Kind of. No, they're still all in line. <sighs> okay, that, that tin split is going crazy with it. Uh, minimum branches to maximum branches is three. There we go. So I don't think I did the rotation right. In fact, I know I didn't do it right. We could do a minimum angle, maximum angle, minimum rot, maximum rot, and put them all in there. Whoops. Control Z. Undo. Sorry, this music just calmed me down, like, a lot. I need to drink some coffee and probably go play some Fortnite, but it is my bedtime, so, I mean, it's good to, uh, to kind of wind down at the end of the day. <sighs> if you had a rough day, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had a rough day. Um, it is Wednesday right now, so happy hump day. You're halfway through the week. I hope that you're having a great summer. I hope that you're out of school, and if you're still in school right now, hashtag, everybody give an F in the chat down below, or in the, in the comment section. Uh, show respect for those who are still in school in this great, great weather. Of course, it is raining out, so. <laughs> I don't know. There's there's a lot of stuff that you can get mad about in this world, and there's a lot of stuff that can make you mad, and a lot of stuff to upset you. But I want you to know that anger is not a primary emotion. It is it is secondary to something else that has happened. So you're either hurt, or you're jealous, or you're, you're embarrassed. And those are the reasons people get angry. Anger itself, nobody just gets angry for no reason. So, I hope that you enjoyed this episode. I hope that I get these trees done pretty soon and get you something growing. Oh, um, I did correct the growth script itself. So, we'll let those grow for a second. And I'm pretty sure... I could start incorporating these over here. So here's here's what these have been doing. Now it's my thought to get these and those combined. That way when I step on this, one of those randomly generates in these positions, grows like this. Well, not like this, but with the same concept that eventually just dies. In which case, all of the, the branches... Oh, we missed one. Oh, 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 oh. I know what we did. Okay, down here at the bottom, these are the leaves. I don't need to do a random on this. I want to do it for every single part. So we're going to take that out. And all of this stuff right here... Gen new part. Uh, yeah. We could make a function to keep it more simplistic and then just pass in what we wanted to it. What material type, what uh, color, and then its size. Material type, color, size. That's it. That's all we would need. Yeah. I'll, I'll leave it be. <laughs> Anyhow, let's hit play again. This will be the last run through. So now every branch should have a leaf. So, much closer. A lot closer than we've been in a while. 
this is my third week of doing these uh, these studio video tutorial things. And if this again, if this is your first time being here, or if you've just struggled on programming and getting through this, um, I promise I'm I've got a book out there that is supposed to take you up to the level of where this studio stuff starts, the the studio tutorial things that I'm doing, um, and. It doesn't get deep, but it teaches you how to teach yourself. And it teaches you that programming is not as scary and as hard as it seems. I promise. It's it, it, Even to me, whenever I start out on a new program, it's very intimidating. Because I don't know the syntax. I don't know all the things that I can do with it. But you start looking around. You start using the scripts. And you're going to get used to it. It's just uh, practice and time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos. I love you guys very much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of this because this is awesome. Love you guys. Have a great night. And we'll talk to you very soon. Outro.